Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up a wing or delta wing model in your Radio Master TX16S. We're first going to do it on Companion and then we'll switch over to the radio. Let's open up my latest backup for my TX16S and that will be this one. Now we're going to go to here and right click. So over the where the models are, we're going to say add a model. And we're going to call this we just call this wing. So it is a plane. We click next. And my throttle will be on channel three. Yours may be different, so you'll have to put the correct channel link, depending on your mapping. Okay, we're going to click next. Now, this is where we click flying wing or delta wing and click next. Now, in here, select elevons. Now, what I'm going to do is set the two channels up one on the first channel, which channel one, which is rudder, and then the fourth one on elevator. So I'm going to change this one to channel one and go next. Okay, do we have a rudder? We're going to say no, we don't. And then we can set up the standard things if you want to, uh, throttle timer. Uh, I don't set any of the others up, but you could choose to do so if you wanted. We click next. We check the channel mapping. We should be okay there. So okay, finish. And it is as simple as that. If we double click, And bring up the model. We can simulate now. Okay, we hit the model button and then hit the model button again. So we should have channel one and four moving. There we go. And then we've got elevator, we should have channel one and four moving. You may need to change the weight from plus to minus depending on the way you installed your servos into your plank. Now let's switch over to the radio and we'll do the same process on the radio. Now let's set up a wing model in our Radio Master TX16S. We are going to hit the enter button and then we're going to hit the enter button again and then we hit the enter button again and we say create. And we can choose glider or plane. We're going to choose plane. And channel three is going to be my throttle, so that's okay, we can go page forward. Now the number of ailerons on model shoot is two, so we can go down, but we're going to change the channels to one and four. So we go back to four Then we push page. No, we don't have flaps. And here we need to change this to two channels for elevator and one for rudder, though we're not going to use the rudder. So here we need to change the first channel to one, the second channel to two, which we are not going to use. And the third one, we are going to change to four. And there we go. Okay. Now we can push page forward and then we just click enter and say we are ready to go. Now I've bound my receiver to my TX16S and I'm going to show you now what you need to do once you've done the basic setup. If I move my ailerons, you can see they're both acting like elevators, so that's in the wrong position. And if I do my elevator, they're acting like ailerons. So we need to do adjustments on that. Now let me show you the adjustments I had to make to the radio to make the ailerons work in the correct sense. Now the first one I needed to change was the aileron on channel one. I had to change that to a minus figure. And then I needed to go to the Channel four, the first one, the elevator, and change that to a minus 100 figure. And then as you will now see that the everything is working correctly. Now, after my adjustments, you can see my ailerons. This is bank right, this is bank left, and then up elevator and down elevator. So both of those are correct now. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.